Hello everyone. My name is Ankit Srivastava and today we will discuss we will be discussing a very interesting problem on cricket match. So let's start. So we have a list of cricket teams which uh, who will be playing a quadrilateral series between amongst themselves, okay? So the list of teams are like India, Pakistan, England and Australia. And this is the source data we have. Okay? Now our requirement is that we need to schedule the matches between each teams okay so that each team will play with each other team right so india will play with pakistan england and australia similarly pakistan will play with india england and australia and this is how our output should look like okay so this is the one one problem and the second problem in this series will be once that match has been scheduled between the two teams we do have the list of winner as well okay and our output is like we want the point table like what was the total number of match played how much match does one team won how much uh, team loss and how what was the total matches which was having uh, which was tie okay so this is how our requirement is okay so we will start with the first one okay so let's quickly jump on sql okay so uh, we have already executed and inserted the data in cricket teams okay these are the list of four cricket teams in between which the quadrilateral series will be played okay now here to get this output we need to join this table with itself only right because we are having just one table and one column only right now what we can do we will assign one uh, country id for each of the uh, countries okay which will be help uh, which will be helpful to us while doing the self join okay and scheduling the match between the teams so let's start so it should be like select country comma and we need to write a case statement case case when country equals to say India then one okay and similarly we will go for another country as well Pakistan then let's make it two sorry so next country is England so let's give them three and last country is Australia so let's assign country ID as four and as C O U N country ID okay as country ID from cricket teams table correct so let's see what is the output so here we are getting country id one with india two associated with pakistan three with england and four with australia okay now we will go for a self join okay based on this data so what we will do we will put this output in one of our cte table Okay, so with CTE as okay. now we will select country so say a dot country as team one okay comma b dot country as team two and I'll be giving the name aliases of 
CTE table as A and B as we will be doing the self chain on the CTE table okay from CTE A inner join CTE B on now here we need to check one thing that we want data something like this right each team will play with each other team right it should not play with itself right so India will always play with Pakistan England and Australia but it should not play with India itself correct so in that case what we will do in join condition we will write a dot country ID greater than B dot country ID okay so let's check the output what is coming great so this is the output we want right so India will play with Pakistan England and Australia Pakistan will play with England India as well as Australia and England will play with Australia then India then Pakistan and Australia will play with Pakistan England and India right this is the exact output we want correct perfect now going on the second part what is the requirement as we have already scheduled the matches between the team 1 and team 2 and we have the list of winner as well okay which was entered manually in the table okay now we want to draw this point table correct so let's jump okay so start with this okay so I have already entered this data that team 1 team 2 and the winner like we have here right in this summary table okay now what we want we want to uh, we want to calculate what was the total number of match played by each team okay and similarly what was the total number of matches won by the team lost by the team and what was the total number of matches which was having no results okay so to discuss this our logic will be something like we will pull the team 1 data right and the winner data in one of the, our intermediate steps okay so how it will be so it will be like team 1 and winner okay we will have this record side by side and team 2 okay and the winners right so what we can see here when the team and the winner is same that means that team won the match correct here also India won the match this is a situ hypothetical situation where there was no result right so neither India won and neither the second team won right so it was a tie here Pakistan and England played and who was the winner England so basically Pakistan lost this match right so let's quickly jump onto the SQL and see how it is executed we will pull select team 1 as let's make it as team select team 1 winner from the summary table okay and we will go for a union all right and we will execute the same thing what we have discussed in the excel right and here we will pull team 2 data correct so what we will get we will have this complete set of data correct right and here is null uh, and the reason is that uh, we we have one match uh, tie between India and Australia right so this and this 
as having no results okay now as discussed we will go for the matching part right if team and the winner are same that means that team won the match if the team and the winner are not same that means Pakistan lost the match here right correct here Pakistan won the match so we will go for case statement okay and we will use this output in our with clause okay so that we will can we can do the calculation right now we need select team then our requirement is like what was the total number of match played right so we will go for count of team as well right now we want to calculate the win loss and the tie okay so count after that we will go for a case statement case when team equals to winner right so that means when team and winner are same that means team won the match right then one correct else zero and we need to calculate this sum right so sum of L0 and as win correct this is what our logic should be correct case when team and winner both are same then we will assign it as 1 else 0 and then we are going to sum these values correct similarly case when team not equals to winner then 1 else 0 and we will consider this as loss correct and for tie it's like null right so when winner is in team and let me check. when sorry when winner is null right because here we are getting null in the winner column right so when winner is null then 1 l0 as tie okay let's remove the comma from cte correct and we'll have to go for a group by as well because we are using count here so we'll go for a group by by team correct so let's execute this see so uh, no column name okay so let me write the column name here yes. total match p total match plate yeah. so yeah so here is the points table right so Australia played total three match it won uh, one match lost one match and one was one match was tie with India correct so same goes for India played three matches won two lost zero and one was tie with Australia England played three won one lost two and there was no tie and so Pakistan as well played three won one and it lost two matches against India correct two matches uh, against uh, uh, England and India okay so hope you like this video and this was really interesting one please share subscribe and like please let me know if you have uh, another way to solve this problem I would love to check that as well and thanks for watching the video thank you so much